Okay, so now now that we're in Facebook here, this is where you want to be also to to get to your ads manager is the is the news feed. You wouldn't be able to get it from get to the ads manager from your profile. So right okay. here from the news feed, we're going to click on see more right there on the left. And then should we should I take see, well, should what? I take no? No, not at, take not at all. I'm recording it for you. All right, see more, I see. Yes. It. So go ahead and click on see more and then we should see um go ahead and click on ads. Uh -huh. but then what we're really looking for is ads manager. So click on ads and let's see if it takes us to the ads manager. Okay. So this right here is, is in, yeah, this is not the, not the section we want to be in, but we'll see if we can get to it from here. So just go ahead and okay. scroll down towards the middle of the page, go to the right side of the page and just scroll down. Okay. So, okay. What we're going to do now, just so we don't have to, you know, navigate and, and, and get lost ever again, we're going to start bookmarking. I'm going to have you bookmark a few different um, um, sections. So okay. let's create, actually, well, what we can do is let's just click on, let's click on the, the top, in the top left, you see those three lines. We're going yeah. to click on the three lines right. next to Facebook ads, no, to the left. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, those three lines and click on ads manager. Okay. So let's click on ads manager and that's gonna bring us back to the dashboard. This is exactly where we wanna be. So this is, this. Is, so again, today's call is, is a tutorial, is just a setup and a walkthrough of this entire ads manager so you understand what's important and, and what's not. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first start off by, by good, yeah, you can X out of that one. Okay. But what we always want to make sure as you navigate through the ads manager, Facebook will, will have you by default in different accounts. So for example, one account that you're in right now is the top left. You see your profile picture there, yeah. Christine, if you click on that, click the drop down and see what other accounts are in here. Cause normally you have a few. Okay, perfect. So you only have, you only have one. Okay, good, good. So then we'll click on, on we'll make sure we're in this one and let's bookmark this page and we're going to create a folder. So I don't know how it is on Mac, but um, you should be able to create a folder, and then and then and then we're gonna put all the bookmarks in that folder. So the folder would be Ads Manager, that that'll be the name of the folder. Okay. So go ahead and hit the star. Yeah, hit the star right there, to the Where right. You see the magnifying. Yeah, hit that star and let's create a folder. So go ahead and and, and hit the folder. Put put um. Let's go choose another folder or, we'll create, or, or we'll, we can create a new one. Which, yeah, we're going to create a new one for sure. But let's see if you can click that. Choose another folder. And let's see if it gives you the option to, yeah, new folder. Perfect. Let's do a new folder at the bottom. We're going to do it new says folder. Ad manager manage ads campaign. Should I do that? No, 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 no. We're going to go new folder to the left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're going to name this one ads manager. Okay. So the folder is ads manager. That's the folder. Okay. okay. And then, and then let's go to, save it. what's that? Save it. Yeah, you can save it. So how do I get to this? If I want to get back to it, just hit that star again. That's the, no, 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 no. Don't hit the star. Hit those three lines to the very right or those three dots to the very right in the top, right. But you can get it right here. Yeah. There's your bookmarks at the top. So do that again. Uh, Scroll back up where, to the top. Okay. Right there. Where? bookmarks you have bookmarks at the very very top i never right use them oh okay right there yeah, so click on that but i want to make sure that we're in the right place so let's go ahead and so there's ads manager and then so now what we're going to do is go ahead and hover over the folder hover over the folder and then and then go to the right and then and then can you right click and delete that i want to delete that because we're going to do it again delete that can you delete that i don't know how wait just let me go back or you, uh, can yeah, just, you... or you can just unstar it. Just unstar it. That's fine. <gasps> oh, my gosh. It's fine. How am I going to get back? Just now? go back to the bookmarks. So that's why. Okay. That's why this call is all about bookmarking okay. and everything. Because once you have all these bookmarks, you won't get lost again. But now you want me to just get unstar rid of that? it. Just unstar it. Unstar it. Okay. Yeah, just click the star again. Yeah, I got to wait until it's loaded. Okay, so let's okay. unstar it. Okay, perfect. And then also, yeah, unstar it. Remove, is that what yeah, I Yeah, just remove. Do? Yeah, perfect. Remove. Perfect. So we have the folder there. The folder is still there. So okay. here's what we're going to do first. Let me let me kind of just show you this part real quick and then we'll and then we'll bookmark it again. But 
as you can see right here, like this is the dashboard and this is where everything happens. But what, what I want you to get in the habit of is once an ad is completed, shade that blue to gray. We just want to be color coordinated. It's going to make it very, very much easier once you have ads going. You'll be able to look and see, once you see blue, the ad's on. When it's gray, it's off. Now, these are off because they're already completed. They're already, the, the budget was already spent. So they're off. But just uh -huh. to the eye, I want you to be more color coordinated with it just so it's easier when you glance at it, you know what's on, you know what's off. So okay. what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn all those blues to gray. Okay. Like, let's just shade all of them to gray. Okay. And depending on how many you have, this could take a while, but I got a few. I don't know if you want me to do it later so as not to waste time. Let's see if but... you could just shade. Let's see if you could check the box at the very top under under oh, the word okay. create. See if you could check that and let's see if we can just go click on more. Yeah, click on more, and then you should be able to turn off. So right mm -hmm. there, there's more. You should be able to to um yeah, normally. Um, okay, normally there's a, there's a turn off, but maybe you can't do all at the same time. Okay, that's fine. But later on, just go ahead and just shade all those gray. Shade all those gray when we're done. If I can remember. Oh, well, I just have to go to ads manager now, right? Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to have everything bookmarked. So, okay. but but here's the deal. You got everything. There's three tabs, and, and I'll explain all this as we go along, but there's three tabs you can see here at the top, you're in the campaign tab. And then in the middle, you have ad sets for one campaign. And then you got to the right, you got the third tab, ads for one campaign. So right. those are the three tabs. Now those will, you're in the campaign tab right now. All right. those will be blue. And then all those will also be blue in the middle tab. They'll also right. all be blue in the third tab. So you're gonna have to manually just do all that later, but but I but it's worth it to spend the time just so you can get in the habit of making sure that they're always gray. When that ad is off, shade it to gray. Because okay. even when you set the budget, let's say we only plan on spending 50 bucks or we only plan on running the ad from tomorrow to Wednesday, even yeah. when it completes, when it completes, Facebook automatically shuts it off. But as you can see here, it's still blue. So I just want to get in the habit of, of, of turning them to gray. That's all. Okay. So once they're I think off. I did something though. It said ads uh, ad renewed or something. I don't know. No, you're fine. As long as everything's gray, as long as everything's gray, then then it's off. So um, so that's off right there. Click on the third tab. Click on the third tab. And now this one over here, that's off. Perfect. So now, now either uncheck the box, you're in the third tab, go to the middle tab, uncheck that oh. box. Yeah, uncheck the box, go to the middle tab, uncheck that box. So everything is about these three tabs. Okay, so so shade that to gray, shade that to gray. And then and then the and then the next tab, shade that to Should gray. I have to those or no, not? no, you don't gotta do that. Just just, okay. just shade them to gray. Just whatever you see blue, just shade it to gray. That's it. And then and then yeah. and then it checks it automatically. So now you gotta uncheck it, go to the middle tab, uncheck oh. it. Gotcha. Go to the middle tab, uncheck this one, and then go back to the first tab and uncheck that one. So that way, because whenever you're checked, you're in that ad. So Ooh. that's why you want to work with one individually. Check one box, turn all three to gray. Uncheck it, go to the next box, check that one, turn them all to gray, uncheck them. Because okay. if you have multiple checked at one time, then you're 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 working with all of those different ads okay gotcha so, so it's it's always just one at a time but in this case i i thought we could turn them all off at one time so but but it doesn't look like we can so and this is just a one-time thing once you do this you'll never have to do this again right. um, do it as, as i run the ads then after that yeah yeah see because okay. that's way that way when you come into your dashboard like this we just come here we're looking at everything from a thirty thousand square foot view and we see everything gray it's just mm -hmm. it's easier to the eye. But if I see gray, blue, gray, blue, gray, blue, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like, shit, what are these ads on? Are they off? Like, I'm going to have to dive into them deeper, you know? So you don't have to, you don't have to do that. You want to just look at it and just know, okay, cool. That's off, you know? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I've ever gotten into my ads manager before. Maybe yeah, not. probably not. You were probably running ads from your business page, boosting posts from your business right. page. From KB Core. Doing it from KB Core, maybe doing it from your cell phone, but yeah. 
from this point on, no more doing it through KB Core. We'll look at that on our next call, um, doing ads that way. But it's so easy to do it this way. Like the way I look yeah. at the KB Core, yes, it may seem easier, but it's actually not. KB Core is just a middleman. It's it's the middle feature in between me and the ads manager. But if I go yeah. straight to the ads manager, I don't need KB Core to run the ad. I just go straight to the ads manager and run it run it here. So yeah. once I well, teach you this part, all I did from KV Core was boost posts. In yeah, other words, yeah. I found um, things yeah. to boost. Yeah, we're yeah. not going to boost no more. Like we're not going to boost right. post no more. Okay. We're in the business of capturing leads, not not boosting posts. So okay. I'm going to teach you all this. I'll teach that you all sense. this. But it's just it's, what I'm saying is that it's just much easier to come straight to the ads manager and run our ad here, rather okay. than having to go through a middleman, which is what I see KV Core is just a middleman. It may right. seem like it makes it easier to run the ad, but it actually doesn't. It, because once once you learn this, it's going to be easy to do it. Just do it, go go straight here. It's going to be super easy, you know. So, um, so let's yeah. So we'll we'll shade all those to gray, and then again, you're in the first tab campaigns, and then we'll mm -hmm. have to go to the middle tab and shade all those to 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 gray. So that this part might be time consuming, but just do that part. See, all these are now blue. We we'll have to shade all those to gray. So. Yeah. Just do that later on for sure. Do that later okay. on for sure. Um, that's that'll be part of your homework. Okay. <laughs> okay. So and, and, and then in the top right, in the top right, you have that blue button review and publish. Let's click on that. Anytime you see that, it's always because something is pending, an ad oh. is not working for whatever reason, and, and you'll always want to clear that out. So go ahead and just I guess this might have been an old ad, but just hit publish. Just hit public, leave it, leave it checked. Leave it, leave, it leave it checked and just hit publish and, it's, and we're turning everything to gray. So nothing's going to be running anyways. So, but, but I hit publish just to get it out the way and clear out that, that blue button, but now it still says two. So we got to just click it again, click the blue button again, and then just, okay, perfect. So we should be good. So refresh this page X out and then just refresh this page. And, and that review and publish number two should be, should be gone. So just go to, yeah, right there. Perfect. Refresh. So we should be, we should be cleared out. Always just clear out that top, right? Okay. Okay. So now it still says one, but once we shade yeah. everything to gray, then it should clear that up. I think it's because yeah. something blue that that's why that's review and publish is still number one. But once you shade everything to gray, then that should be cleared out. Okay. Okay. So here's what we'll do. I like to do them all, but. You can do them all right now if you want. Keep going. Oh, if I'm, you, want. No, you just hit the one button and shade them all to gray. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All at yeah, one time. Yeah. One Normally time. you can, but in this case, it's not letting. It's not giving you that that option. No, it doesn't seem to be unless there might be something that I have to click on or something to figure it out. It's okay. So go and click click back on the on the first on the first tab campaigns. Yeah. Oh wait, it says add. Oh wait, there we go. Gotcha. Yeah, there. Okay, perfect. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bookmark it from here. So let's bookmark this page. Let's hit the star, and we're gonna name this bookmark dashboard. This is the dashboard. So there it is in the ads manager folder, and this is bookmark number one dashboard. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're good. Okay, so go ahead and hit done. Okay, good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the dots to the left. Though that square under the under the home under the house, yeah, click on that and let's go to business settings. So let's see if we have business settings. Let's click on that, and I'm gonna have you fill in some blanks over here. Okay, so so we don't have a business setting a business account set up just yet, which yeah. which we'll do. So now here's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and create account. You have a business ads manager, and then you have a business manager. Okay, so create account. We're going to create a business manager. You have your ads manager and you have your business manager. So what we're going to do from this point on, we're going to start running our ads under this new ad account. This is going to be your business ad account. So okay. why don't you go to name it at right to the top, Jasper's Market. Yeah, name it your real estate business. Name it your real estate name. Perfect. So this is going to be the, the, the ad account name um, and then your business email. 
Perfect. And then what Facebook's going to do is they're going to, and you'll want to do it from here. Facebook's going to email you a verification and don't okay. verify it from your phone, verify it from your computer because you're already logged into Facebook here. So let's hit submit there. Mm -hmm. And then it should say Facebook's going to email you. Okay. So confirm your email address. Perfect. So just click done and then check your email. Okay. So go ahead and allow, just click allow on this one. Okay. And then next. My email and check. Yeah. You can check that. Okay, so maybe, maybe, maybe check social or, or promotions. Maybe it might have landed in there. This is everything I think on. Uh, in your I primary. Check. Yeah, I think it's my primary. <gasps> there we go. You there were right. Is. Yep. Perfect. Okay. okay, so we'll confirm it from here, and we should be good. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do is you can see to the top left, Austin's Boutique Realtor. That's going to be the, that's like the umbrella. Look at it as a corporation. Like if you go form an LLC, you have your mm -hmm. LLC, that's the company name. And then you have, then you have you as the manager or the president or the founder or whatever, then, mm -hmm. then there's you, but you're protected by the, by the umbrella, which is the LLC. Facebook is similar where now you have the business manager. Now you have Austin's Boutique Realtor. That's the name of the business account. In the business account, we run ads and those ads are going to be ran by you, by Christine. Okay. So, so now it's a completely different business account, which is, which is what you want. You want to run everything through this business account. Um, okay. So let's bookmark this. Let's bookmark this. And we're going to name this one. Let's hit the star. And we're going to name this one business settings, which it's already there. Perfect. So just hit done. Perfect. So you see your name right there, Christine. So you're the one that has access to this business account. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on pages right there to the, to the left, right below, click on pages. And we're going to make sure that your page is connected over here, which it's not. So again, what you just did is you just formed an LLC. Now we got to make sure that we open up a bank account for this LLC. We got to make sure that we, um, that we start opening up credit cards for this LLC. Right now we're looking at it as a now we're looking at it as a separate entity. So you might have already been what's that? It's not an actual LLC. No, no, no. I'm just giving you an, an analogy for Facebook. It's a okay, Austin's exactly. Boutique Realtor is now your LLC within Facebook. That's the umbrella. So now underneath the umbrella, we have to attach everything. Now okay. you personally, you already had access to your business page because that's your business page. But now what we got to do is give access to your business page to your LLC. Oh, right? okay. To, which is AKA Austin's Boutique Realtor. So now right. let's, let's hit add. Let's click add. And all we're going to do is simply add a page. And you're going to type in the name of your business page right there. And you'll see it in the drop down. And you'll just click on it. Not the at. You'll just type in the title of the page. So just type it in. There it is there. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll hit add page. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bookmark this page. We'll hit close, your name. See, everything is tied back to you. So, oh, yeah. so there's there's your name at the bottom, right? There. Yeah, there's your name right there, Christine D D oh, yeah. Simone. There's your name right there. So uh -huh. you are the one that has access to the to the ad account. You're the one who has access to that business page. It's, it's all about you. So bookmark this page, and we're going to name this one. We're going to name this one um, business page. Business page, business page settings, business page settings. The other one was business settings, right? Yeah, the other one was business settings, which just brings us to here. But now we're going to start breaking up here. We're going to start se segmenting everything. So this is business business page settings. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Now we're going to click on add account. So add accounts right below pages to the left, add accounts. This is where you're going to set up a new ad account. Now your new ads are going to be ran out of here. Again, very similar to an LLC. Once you form an LLC, now you got to go open up a separate bank account. Now you got to go open up different credit cards. Everything's tied to the LLC now. In this mm -hmm. case, everything is now tied to, to Austin's Boutique Realtor. Who has access to Austin Boutique Realtor? Christine. 
Right. Right. So okay. now it's separate. Now it's its own entity. So wow. now what we want to do is we want to, we want to go in and add, go ahead and click on add. And, and we may have to put a credit card in. So add account, or let, let's go ahead and create a new account. Let's create, create new ad account, create new ad okay. account. And we're going to name this one, your business name. So ad account name is going to be Austin's boutique realtor. So from this point on, we may have to rebookmark the dashboard and that's fine because now we're going to be running all ads out of this new account, which is Austin's okay. boutique realtor. So go ahead and click next. <clears throat> Okay, so um, this ad account will be used for my business. Go ahead and check that one, my business, and then create. Okay, perfect. So now check your name to the left. Go ahead and check that circle right there. You're going to give yourself access to this ad account. Um, and then to the right, you're going you're gonna to toggle the gray to blue on the very bottom. Admin access. That's the one. Perfect. And then assign. And that's the only thing I need on that. That's it. Okay. Now we're going to add payment info. So go ahead and add your card to this, this, this account. Yeah, right here. It on the other one, but I guess I have to type it in again, huh? Yeah. We're going to get it. We're going to get it out of the other one because we're not going to run ads out of, out of that other one anymore. We're going to now separate ourselves and, 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 and now create everything under this new entity and this new. PayPal or I got to get a credit card just a minute. Yeah, for sure. Take your time. Okay. So now the card info's in. We're good. So now here's what you're going to do. You're going to bookmark this page and we're going to call this one ad account. This is going to okay, be your, so your ad account. That's okay. Yes, we're good. We're so go ahead and, and, and bookmark, hit the star. And then let's, let's name this one ad account. Okay, perfect. Done. And then now let's click on Instagram accounts to the left and let's connect our Instagram over here because as we start to run ads, we'll be running ads over there as well. Instagram. So down at the bottom, Instagram accounts, go ahead and add it here. Yeah. You should be able to just hit that blue button and it should automatically take you in. See, so now what we're doing, Christine is we're set. I'm setting you up for success. Like I'm setting you up to run these ads the right way. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, and this is all through the ads manager. So I go ahead and check your, check your name right there at the top. No, no, no. First check your name um, right there. The circle to the right. Yeah. Right there. Oh. Down, down. Yeah. Right there. Finish. Perfect. Okay, cool. Okay. So hit okay. 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 And then um, we don't need to bookmark this page. This page really isn't, isn't that important to bookmark, but go to the bottom left to the bottom left. We're going to go down to business info. And this yeah. part is important. We want to put in our information here. Um, we always want to give Facebook as much information as possible. Um, you don't have to give them your tax ID, but, but go ahead and put in your business name. Even if you're not a corporation, it doesn't matter. You can put any, any, any business name right there. So go ahead and just put Austin's Boutique Realtor and then just put your address. And then, um, and then we'll put our email. Actually, you may not have to put your email again, but we'll, we'll double check that. Yeah, so we'll fill out this information. What was important is making sure that your name is right there connected to that ad account. And then pages, that's important. That tab down there, pages, and then your ad account. And then, of course, making sure that your Instagram account is tied and then making sure that your info is in the business info section at the bottom. So we're good here. So now let's click on the dots to the left. Actually, at the top, we're going to go back to ads manager. And we're actually going to um, bookmark the new ad account. So yeah, as manager. And before what we did is we bookmarked Christine. We bookmarked your name, which which you see right here at the top left. So go ahead and does your business focus on politics? Put no, click Wait, no on I that don't... one. Oh, okay. Yeah, just click no. So right here, right here at the very top, Look, look at the difference. Now it says Austin's Boutique Realtor. So now this is a whole new fresh ad account. So if you click okay. on the drop down, click on the drop down, you'll see your old one. Click on the drop down, go down to your name. So see more ad accounts. And oh, now okay. there's your name down there. Now you okay. can always run ads. Doing it um, with that outside of the ads manager and not attach. This is when I was doing it. Christine, when I was doing it outside of the ads manager and not attached to Austin's yes. YouTube. Yes. 
So, and is so, that my number right there? I guess, yeah. Yes, which we'll we'll go we'll go back to we'll go back to that that number. But um, that's why I had you bookmark the ad account. So go back, go back to open up another tab, open up another tab at the top, and then go to the folder, go to bookmarks at the very top. Oh, okay. Yeah, go hit hit bookmarks, and then let's um, hit ads manager and go down to ad account. Okay, so now over here. What we booked Mark, which I'm gonna have you take off, what we booked marked in the dashboard was your name. So let's click on, let's click on the drop down at the top left. Let's get out of Austin's boutique and let's go back down to Christine. So hit the drop down, Austin's boutique realtor. Gotcha. And go back to Christine. Go to okay. go see more ad accounts, click on your name, and let's see if this is bookmarked over here, which it has us in a different section. So it, it, it's not bookmarked, but that's fine. Go back. No, let's hit the drop down and let's go, let's go back to, to Austin's boutique and we're going to bookmark it from there. So see more ad accounts and then, and then Austin's boutique, go ahead and click on that and let's bookmark this. Let's bookmark uh -oh. this and this is going to be the oh, new dashboard. No results found. What's that? It's okay that it says no results found. Oh yeah. Because this is a brand new account. We have no ads in this account. So, okay. so, I'm back so let's to start it. Let's go ahead and bookmark it. Oh, bookmark it. Okay. Yeah. Hit the star. And then this is the dashboard. This is Austin's boutique realtor dashboard. So Should you're going to have, that? yeah, Austin's dashboard, just Austin's dashboard. Let's go Austin's dashboard. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So hit done. Show up, right? What's that? Is this where my, where we had it with Christine, the campaign, the ad sets and the, then now when I do put ads, they're going to be in here. There's going to be in here. Yes. These are all your new ads. So this is your 2021 account. We're going to start fresh. And this is where all the ads are going to go under Austin's Boutique Realtor. Okay. okay. So do I even need that other one that you, I have? You don't. You don't. You don't. That's why I wanted you to kind of change it up a little bit because you named the other one Dashboard. But uh -oh. now we got right. Austin's Dashboard, which okay. you can always delete the other one. You can delete the other one later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So just delete the other one. Cause yeah, you don't need the other one. You just need this one. Aust Austin's boutique realtor. This is the dashboard. This is where we want to be. Okay. So see how you have that other one dashboard. So just delete that other dashboard. Dashboard. I can delete. Yeah. Click on it. Yeah. Click on it and then just unstar it. Perfect. Oh, actually you're in. Wait, 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 wait. Don't click it yet. Don't click it yet. Okay, so it pulls Let's it up. See where it takes us. <laughs> The old one. Are you the sure? The old one. That's the old one? Yeah. Yeah, because see, it's okay, got Christine, all the there it is. Perfect. Okay, so unstar it. Let's get rid of this one. There's Redfin again with another lead. Okay, remove, and then we're good. Okay, so now oh. click on the dots to the left. Mm -hmm. So always make sure you're in the Austin boutiques. Right here, you're in Christine, but that's fine. Click on the dots. We'll make sure we're in the new account once we click on the next one. So now click on billing. Click on, oh, wait. you don't have to do it right now. Click on billing. Oh, I did the wrong thing. I went to Austin's boutique. Okay. You yeah, want so me click to click on billing. And so uh, again, as you navigate through the dashboard, as you navigate to the dashboard, sometimes you'll be in the right account and sometimes you won't be. Sometimes Facebook will put you back in Christine's. So right mm -hmm. in the top left, you always want to check that as you navigate through Facebook, Always make sure you're in the right account. So now right here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on payment settings to the right. This is very important because we want to know what card is on file. We want to know when our next billing date is. We want to know our, our, our existing balance. That's very, very important. And I learned my lesson this way because in the past, what I would do is I would have surprise bills. Like I wouldn't know my billing date and all of a sudden I'm hit with a $500 credit card fee. And I'm like, shit, Facebook just charged me 500 bucks. I had no idea today was my billing date. Right. So, yeah. so knowing, yeah. <laughs> knowing your Got billing it. date is very important. Knowing what card is on file is very important. So let's bookmark this page. Our billing dates every 31st. And so in my case, what I like to do, and because it's so name this one billing, billing. In the very beginning of a new ad account, Facebook mm -hmm. is going to charge you, 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 you have a threshold. So for example, hit manage right to the top manage. Yeah. Click on that. Your threshold is two bucks. So, so in the very beginning for the first, maybe shit, maybe the first 10 transactions, 
you're going to yeah. get hit for two bucks, two bucks. Every time you put on an ad, let's say we're running an ad five bucks a day. You're going to get two yeah. charges a day, two bucks, two bucks, four bucks, you know, like. But not, but if I say $5 a day, is the two bucks in addition to that? No, no, no. That's just when, so if you're spending five bucks a day, you're going to be charged once you hit $2 of the $5 spent. You're going to be charged again when you hit four dollars because there's another two dollars spent. Your threshold is two bucks. So for every two dollars that's going to be spent, you're going to get charged. Oh, but okay. it's only that way in the very beginning of a new account. So as you make and and that's why this is very important to know your billing date, to know what credit cards on file. So and they're going to. So I will see charges for two dollars, two dollars, two dollars, yes. and it might be one day. But I did that because I did that much of an ad. Like yes. if I did, if I actually used $6, I'm going to have $2, $2, $2, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Now, now that's only see. in the beginning though. That's only in the beginning is what I'm trying to say. So Facebook is like a credit report. If you're, if, if you go, if you go back, if you go, if, if you, if you make a payment late, there's a negative charge. If you don't make a payment at all and, and you, and you get discharged, like, um, or, or a creditor, you know, um, what's it called? It's called, is it, is it discharging a, an account where they just completely, yeah, they, well, a negative mark. Facebook is yep. the same. Like when you don't make payments, that's why I spend time on this billing part because it's super important because if you, when you don't make payments, you get red, you get a red flag and sometimes they'll just shut your ad account down. So wow. in the very beginning, that's why your threshold so low is because they want to make sure they can charge that card multiple times and, and, and it's going to be okay. So it's only the but first few charges. Because when I made it with Christine, it went on American Express. I didn't actually get, I got charged, but it was on my American Express card. Yeah, is that's that what it, now? Yeah, it, okay. this, is, this is going to be your American Express as well. That's not, that, that has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with the fact that this is a new account. They want to make sure that that card is, is okay. They want to make sure that they can charge it whenever the hell they need to. So your threshold's low. As you make several charges, so always make sure those charges go through. Yeah. As you make more charges, then that threshold increases. Okay. Okay. So, so let's cancel this. Sorry. Okay. Oops. Yeah. We just need to bookmark a couple more and then we're done. Okay. I just need to get back to you here. Oh, what happened? Oh, um, I see your desktop of your beautiful. Are those your grandchildren? Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, click on Google Chrome. I should be able to see that. Perfect. Okay. So now hit cancel. So we bookmarked this. This is billing. Now mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to go to, we're going to click on the dots, click cancel. We're going to click on the dots to the left and we're going to go to audiences. And we just have mm -hmm. a couple more to save. Click on audiences. You see right at the top shortcuts yeah. audiences. So let's bookmark this page. This is where we're going to start putting custom audiences. Custom audiences are are is where your real return on investment is. It's in your custom audiences. A custom audience, what we'll start tracking. Go ahead and bookmark this. Okay. Do I have to create a? No, a, we won't create, create one yet. We'll, we'll get there once we we'll get there on call number three. So okay, let's name this one custom audiences. Is that okay? Custom audiences. Custom audiences. Okay. Let me get rid yeah, of not that audiences, ad. custom, custom audiences, a custom audience is those who are watching your videos, mm -hmm. but haven't clicked on your ad. A custom mm -hmm. audience are those that go to your landing page, but don't opt in. A custom audience are those who actually go to your landing page. They enter their name and email. They click on the button. Give me more information. They land on your next page. That's a custom audience. And the name of that custom audience would be leads, right? So, so depending on, on what is going on with a specific lead or a person on Facebook engaging with your ad, those are all custom audiences. And so we're going to be building a lot of custom audiences as we learn more about this platform. So oh, this is custom audiences because this is who you'll be retargeting. When you start to run future ads, you're going to be running ads to people who watched your previous videos. You're going to be running okay. ads to people who landed on your page before, but never opted in. Those are all custom audiences. It's That's almost why, like, I don't know. I don't know if you've ever experienced it. I'm pretty sure you have, but have you ever experienced when, let's just say, for example, let's say, for example, you're on the internet, you're surfing mm -hmm. around and you're just looking at random products. Let's say you go to Macy's.com and you're looking at, 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 um, at, 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 um, 
clothes. Clothes. <laughs> and you're just looking at random women's clothes. And then you leave Macy's.com. And now you're on some other random website. And all of a sudden you see a, a Macy's ad. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't know if that's that- ever happened to you. And, 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 and we tend to sit back and we're like, damn, who are these people spying on me? No yeah. one's spying on you. What they're doing is they're just putting you in custom audiences. They know that you clicked on the blue blouse. They know that you were looking at the red shoes because you clicked on a certain link. And because they had their Facebook pixel tracking that certain link, they know you landed on it. So when they go run another ad, they can run an ad to only females who looked at the red shoes. Mm-hmm. And so in your case, if you're running an ad on a listing and I watch your video on the listing, but I don't click, you got the data, you know, I watched it. Let's say I clicked, I go to the landing page, but for whatever reason, I don't inquire. I don't put my name and email, but your Facebook pixel was on that landing page. You got that data. So now that person is in a custom audience. We're going to name that custom audience website visitors. They didn't opt in. They didn't inquire on the listing, but they clicked the ad. They came to the page, but didn't inquire. They're a website visitor. That's a custom audience. So now I can go and turn around and run another ad and say, hey, I noticed you guys were on my website, but but did not inquire. Let me show you another property that may may be of of your interest. And that person is going to look at your Uh ad and be like, holy shit, how does she know I was, right? Like, because all you're doing is tracking different activity that people are doing and you're categorizing everybody and putting them in their, in, in their own bucket. People yeah. do it to me. Yeah, you're right. People do it to you. That's that that's, and all that is, 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 is Facebook marketing. That's how Facebook has so much data on everybody because everybody that has a website today has a pixel on that website and whether mm. they're running ads or not, it doesn't even matter. You could not even run an ad, but I'm going to your website and on your website, your Facebook pixel is on that website. Facebook knows I landed there. So whenever you do run an ad in the future, you can choose to run it to people in the custom audience who landed on your website. And now now only those folks are going to see your ad. Cool. Very detailed, very, very detailed. So listings, open houses, we're giving out a seller guide, whatever. We're going to be creating a ton of custom audiences. So we're going to bookmark this page, click on the dots to the left, top left. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on, um, we're going to click on, um, um, the, where is your events manager? So scroll, scroll down. Let's look for, do we see? Yeah, there we go. Events manager. Perfect. Over here is where we get our pixel. We get our pixel from over here and we get our, we set up our custom conversions from over here. And I'll explain all that on our next few calls. In fact, Perfect. our next call will be all about the pixel and that's when we'll dive into KV core. So for right now, all we're going to do is we're going to bookmark this page and we'll come back here on our second call. So let's bookmark this page. And this one's going to be pixel, P-I-X-E-L, pixel. Okay. Okay, so hit done. And then now what we're going to do, go to an X out of this one. We're going to click, we're going to hover over the blue triangle to the left. And we're going to click on custom conversions. Okay. This right here is very, very important. Go ahead and bookmark this page. We're going to name this one custom conversions. And we'll need to dump. We'll need to. We'll need to ju- to to jump into KV Core, um, so we can fully set up this. But I want you to to bookmark this. A custom conversion is simply is simply. Let's say, for example, in in fact, you know what? Before I show you that part, let's just. I'm pretty sure we're done bookmarking everything. Let's go back to the bookmarks. Let's look at the folder, and let's okay. look at everything we got in there, because I'm pretty sure we're done. But I'm going to show you what a custom conversion is. So we got business settings. We got mm-hmm. business page settings. We got ad account. We got the dashboard. We got the billing. We got the custom audiences, the pixel, and the custom conversion. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those eight tabs, Christine, are the only tabs you'll ever need to click on. There's um, nothing else. There's nothing else. We have our I've, billing date. We know our audiences. We know where our pixel is at, our custom conversions. We can get to our dashboard. We can get to our ad account. We can get to our business page settings. We can get to the business settings. There's nothing else to click on. So um, as we go and learn ads and actually start running ads, we'll be in the dashboard. We'll be in Austin's dashboard. That's where we're going to run the actual ads. But as far as the overall platform, there's nothing else that we need to know of. Those are the top eight. 
That so is great. To explain yeah. a custom conversion real quick in closing, and then we'll jump into, we're going to jump into custom conversions on our third call. Our pixel will be on our second call, and our pixel is what we're going to put on our KV core pages. But just to explain the custom conversions real quick, go to Facebook. To What's that? I went into custom conversions. Yeah, Should that's I? fine. That's fine. Okay. Go ahead and open up another tab and go to Facebook. Let's go to your Facebook personal page and I'll explain what a custom conversion is really quick. Okay, so so facebook.com, go to your news feed and let's just scroll through and let's see if we can find a random ad. Let's just see if we can see any ads in the in the news feed. We're looking in the middle section and we're seeing there we go right here, sponsored ad. Okay, perfect. So right here. Here's a custom conversion. Let me explain what a custom conversion is. Here's here's the deal. Whatever Rudy is, Rudy, Rudy, whatever his name is, Rudy, he could be a real estate agent. He could be a consultant, seven day Facebook ads masterclass. He's obviously a Facebook ad teacher, trainer, whatever. Yeah. Here's what a custom conversion is. There's two goals when it comes to Facebook advertising. Goal number one is to get someone to click that learn more button. So uh -huh. click on the button, click on the learn more. Goal number one is to get people to click on that button and come to our landing page. This right here is the landing page. As you can see, there's oh. nothing to click on. There's no meet uh -huh. the team, contact us, directions to the office. There's not a tab for 15 other listings. There's nothing. There's nothing until you scroll down and you'll probably see only one single button. And where's that one button at? Let's see where that one button at is at. Well, scroll, scroll down like this guy is crazy to not have that button up already. That that button should have been at the very top. Like I mean, having a- Oh, here we go. Probably, no, that's not it. Yeah, see, this is a horrible page. That button, he made us scroll. He made us scroll all the way to the bottom before he showed us that black button. But whatever, that's not the point. Here's the point. So go back down to the button. Okay, so here, here's, here's, there's two goals. Okay, so stop right here, stop. There's two goals on a Facebook ad. Goal number one is to get them to click that learn more button. We click on learn more. We come in here. We come here. Mm -hmm. If you click the black button, click the black button. Now they get my contact. So now here's the form. Here's the form. Okay. So here's the form. Goal number one was to get you to click learn more and come here. Goal number two is to get you to fill out the form. Mm -hmm. Now here's the deal. When you fill out that form and you click, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. When you click on get it now, okay? So you fill out the form, you yeah. click on get it now. When you click on get it now, you're going to go to a second page. This is the first page. You're going to go to the right. second page. And that second page, it, that second page is going to be a confirmation page. Thank you. Your, your, your payment has been processed or whatever, mm. right? It's a thank right. you page. It's a confirmation page. That's the second page. That page is the custom conversion. So what you're telling Facebook is your custom conversion. We're going to set up a custom conversion around the thank you page. So when we go and run ads, we're telling Facebook, hey, our goal might be to get them to click learn more. But because we set up a custom conversion, our ultimate goal, which is goal number two, which is really the goal number one, which is our only goal, our only goal is to get them to the thank you page. So let me give you a better example sharing my screen. Stop share. Let me share my screen. And then I'm going to say this last part because this is super important. So get off, get off the share. Yeah, yeah. Stop share and then come to come to my page. So stop share. Let me know if you can see if you can see my okay. page. Okay. Yes. Okay. So over here, let me show you using an actual real estate. Okay. Funnel. So again, I see a Facebook ad. It's on a listing. I click learn more. I come to this one page. Okay. Get okay. instant access to the price and photos of this property. This could be your one KV core page, the landing page. As I mm -hmm. come over here, I enter my name and email. I click on send me the details. I then go to the thank you page. This thank you page. Thank you for your interest. This right here, this link is what I set up as a custom conversion. So when I go run an ad, my whole objective is to capture a lead. 
or my mm-hmm. whole objective based on that other ad that we just saw, his goal was yeah. to get you to buy the program for $29. So whatever right. it is, whether the goal is to get you to buy something or whether the goal is to get, is to get your lead, to get you to right. opt in on the listing, whatever it is, it's the same thing. You're, you're entering information into a form. So in this case, I entered my name and email on the first page. I clicked the mm-hmm. yellow button. I came here. Right. What I'm ultimately telling Facebook when I set up a custom conversion is I'm telling them this is my only goal. My goal is not to just get them to click learn more and go to my landing page. I only have one ultimate goal of Facebook and it's to get them to hear. If you can get me here, if you can get me people here, I'll mm-hmm. pay you. So, so oh. in order to get here, what happened? What had to happen in order for me to get here? I had to fill out my name and email. Right. So I'm telling so- Facebook exactly what I want. I want people here. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give them this link so they know exactly where here is. That's a custom conversion. So when I go run a Facebook ad, Facebook, no matter whether they go there or not, right? What, what's that? You have to pay Facebook whether they get there or not, right? No, I'm paying Facebook to get people here. If you don't get me people here, I'm not paying you. Oh, really? Oh, that's so that, cool. that's going to be our cost per lead. So when we start looking at our dashboard. We're going to be able to look at the analytics and we're going to be able to look at our cost per lead. How many people landed here and how much did it cost us per lead? Gotcha. And if okay. they landed here, they are a lead. If they landed here, we're going to be able to look at the cost of what that, what that took. And, and we'll look at how many leads we got. We'll look at the cost per lead because this is what we're tracking. We're tracking everyone who lands here. This is our okay. custom conversion. So you'll have so, to show me how you track that later in Facebook. Oh yeah, we're gonna go in that. Uh, we'll go into that on call number three. So that's once everything I, on the dashboard. Once I get somebody to land there, then is my goal to then contact them personally, or continue? They will continue seeing me. That that's gonna be a good question. If I go to your page and I enter my name and email, now I should be on your email list. Right. So, so now I should be getting a handful of emails. That's when we're going to have to dive into our email automation. So KV core might be one software for the landing page, but what you're going to really need is an email autoresponder because as these leads come in, it does, it does, it does have that. Perfect. Perfect. Because as these leads come in, it's very, it's very easy. It's much easier to ask for name and email versus trying to ask for name and phone number. Okay. So, so, so what I do is I ask for name and email. Once you opt in, you're now on my email list. Mm -hmm. My email list is now receiving automated emails every other day. And in those emails, I'm getting you to schedule an appointment. Okay. So for example, if I'm opting into your listing, Uh if I'm opting into your listing, I click on it. I go to watch. Let's just go back to it real quick. Um, Let me know if you can see my screen. Yes. Okay, so let's go back to this page real quick. So if I see your Facebook ad and you're, you're running an ad for a listing, I click on learn more, I come here. I come to the yellow button, I enter my name and email, send me the details. Mm-hmm. That email should have triggered right away with all the specs of that property. And, and, and all I got is name and email. So what happens tomorrow? Another email needs to go out. Hey, Dave, this is Christine. Just wanted to follow up. I know yesterday you inquired on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, guess what? This property is hot and it's not going to last. If you'd like to schedule a call, please click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Two days later, another email better automatically go out. Hey, Dave, this is Christine. Hey, guess what, man? We had an amazing turnout last night. I had five different families come through and even, even some investors. This property will not last. If you want to schedule a private showing, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. These are automated emails. So whether it was a listing, whether it's an open house, whether it's a seller guide, whether it's a buyer guide, whatever, all I'm asking for up front is name and email. And then it's my email automation where I'm getting them to schedule a call. And in my case, with my email automation, when you click on it, it takes you to my calendar and it's on your calendar. That's where you're going you're gonna to want some type of online calendar because as that person gets your email, they might get email number three, email number four, and then by maybe email number five, then they're like, okay, man, let me schedule a call with her. As they mm-hmm. click on your email, email number five, and they click on your link, you should have an online calendar. 
when they yeah. click and they go to your online calendar and they book a call, this is where you can ask for their phone number. Okay. Because gotcha. now, now they're taking the initiative to schedule a call with you. And now there'll be no barrier or no, you know, um, resistance on them giving up their phone number because now they're coming to you. They're scheduling a call with you. They received five emails from you. You educated them on an open house. You educated them on a listing. Maybe you're educating them because you gave away a seller guide. And now five emails have automatically went out on your behalf. And now finally someone's scheduling a call. They're taking the initiative. They would, they would give you their phone number by that time. So an okay. online calendar where that person can come schedule, a, schedule their best time. And then that's where you're asking for their phone number. That's yeah. the better way to do it than to ask for their phone number up front when they don't even know you yet. Right. And people are less um, weary about giving out their email address than they are. Oh, about of course, their of course. We're giving up our email all day on things that we're interested in for sure. But your, right. but, but the phone number, when's the last time you gave up your phone number? I don't ever give up my phone number online. You know what I mean? So but, but, but if I was already in your world, yeah, I opted in, I was interested in a listing that I saw on a Facebook ad. It happened to be your ad. It was your listing. Now I got five emails. Now I feel I somewhat know you because you're educating me on what the hell I opted in for. Now it's, it's on my time when I want to schedule this call. So I go to your calendar. Yes. Now I'm more likely to give you my email or my phone number. I should say, you know, because, uh -huh. because now I'm scheduling the appointment, you know, with you. So, right. That pertains to anything, a listing, an open house, a seller guide, a buyer guide, whatever. But again, I want you to focus on one, this entire Facebook ad campaign. Yes, we'll run listing ads every now and then. Yes, we'll run an open house if you have an open house coming up. But what I want you to really, really focus on is one thing. Either we're going to focus on running ads for sellers and we're going to give away a seller guide, or we're going to focus on one thing, buyers and give away a buyer guide. It's one thing. Focus on okay. one thing. Sellers. Sellers. So we have your seller guide. So, so that's what we'll go over on, 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 we'll go over that more towards call number three and four, but on our second call, we got to install a pixel on a page. So that's where we got to look into KB core and see if we can get a general page, giving away a seller guide. Okay. I so, think they have something about landing pages and stuff, but I don't know enough about it. And um, what that other guy that worked for my company that kind of set up my KB core for me, mm -hmm. he, he had Redfin whenever I, I accept a Redfin lead. Mm -hmm. Instead of um, going to my email, it goes directly to KV Core, and KV Core sends them a text message that I got it, that, you know, I'll be in touch with them. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So I Perfect. That, that, that they do have, it does have the um, auto emails or auto text. Perfect. Perfect. And that's all in KV Core? It's all in KV Core. Good, yeah. good. Okay, so I'll tear that book off. Calendar. That I don't know, but I guess I could contact someone and ask if you don't see something in there. Well, there's a there's a free software that I'll that I'll send you. In fact, it's right here. Let me just let me just you might as well just set it up. It's free. Um, if you don't have one already, you could just go and get this free one, which is Calendly. Really? Wow. Yeah. The Calendly one is is free. Um yeah, this one's free to have a little bit more bells and whistles and, and features then then there's 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 one that you got to pay for but you don't need that you don't need the pay you don't really need the pay one. Um, so the basic is free and then you got the premium which is eight bucks a month, but the, not much. the basic yeah the basic the basic is fine for now so go to go go to calendly.com okay. and just set up a set up a calendar. All right, I wrote it down. Okay. Oh, oh. cool. So Set up our next call, Christine. I'm super fired up for you. Um, this was just basic call one tutorial ads manager setup and bookmarking everything. So I'll get this recording over to you tonight and then let's let's chat uh, either tomorrow or, or sometime next week. Okay, I learned a lot. So awesome. yeah, I'll see about, um, I'm kind of busy the next three days. It's all good. Well, Tuesday, I'm good. Okay. So it may Tuesday, okay. I'm on your schedule. I'll track where we're at as far as the calls, and and I'll know exactly what topic we're on. So, we'll talk next week. I enjoyed it. I learned a lot. Thank awesome. you. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. All right, you too. Bye bye.